Hey there, it's Trucker Wayne with Driver Solutions. How is everybody today? Doing a few videos and uh, why I have a chance. And hey, uh, Michael on the Positive Path to Trucking Success Facebook page asks, what are your weekly and monthly expenses when you're in the truck? Very interesting question because uh, for me personally in the first year when I was trying to survive and I was spending a ton of money at truck stops, uh, just a ton because you know I mean you get there and you're a little worried about just getting a place to park and, and, and making sure you're doing the right thing and and I tell you what it's a big difference from what I spent monthly in the first year and what I spend now let me tell you when uh, I was spending all the money at the truck stops um, I always say now I spend a hundred dollars at Walmart to save myself 200 uh, nowadays, I now that I do the 48 in Canada, I have plenty of time and plenty of uh, places in Walmarts that I can look for to actually stop and stop at a Walmart to do some shopping and uh, do some shopping to save huge amounts of money. For example, I'm a uh, big uh, Gatorade and Powerade drinker, right? Everybody sees that every day, right? When you walk into that truck stop, it's... Uh, the best I ever saw was two for four, but they've kind of gotten away from that. Now it's like 250 a pop. And I go into Walmart and about clean them out for when I can, about 24 of them. And you get them for anywhere between, if they're on sale for 89 up to 109 at the highest. That's huge. That's more than double of the savings. And uh, that's big when you uh, drink one or two a day, right? Because I gave up sodas. So one of the things that I try to do now, um, and I try very hard to do now, is always um, every couple weeks look for a Walmart that uh, is easy in, easy out, that's not too crowded. I do the 48 and I do know some Walmarts now that I really like that are super easy. Texas has some of the easiest Walmarts to use just pass some huge parking lots. You take this what right turn, you just park it, you go in, do your 30 minute break and out you go and they're in and out and uh, up north and uh, North Dakota and South Dakota, they have some of the same things. So, you know, it's just, just learning that, uh, you know, and then, oh, oh, I wanted to mention, you can look for truck stops by Walmart and you can maybe walk a mile and uh, or even closer and get your stuff at Walmart as well. So yeah, the average expenses is, uh, it really does vary. If you were going to, you know, the funny thing is I was struggling in my first year and I'm spending more money at these truck stops. So if you can learn in your first year very quickly and I bet you a ton of people do, I was just being stupid. But, um, you know, in your first year, if you can do that shopping at the Walmart, if you're out a lot, because a lot of times you're running harder in your uh, in your first year, too. So just make time out of your schedule to stop at a Walmart and uh, do all your shopping there or to Myers or, or Fred Myers, whatever. But I did to save you a lot of money. So thank you for the question, Michael. And uh, this is Trucker Wayne with Driver Solutions. With the positive path to trucking success, check me out at www.truckerwayne.com or at my Facebook page at Trucker Wayne. And I'm out.